Well, Michelle, like a lot of places in Seattle that have to operate near homeless encampments, the leaders of this church tell me they want the people in those camps to get help, but they also need for the people who come to their church to worship to feel safe when they're there. Outside the gates of the Greek Orthodox Church of the Assumption in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood, this encampment lines the sidewalk, a flipped mattress with a message. Jesus was homeless. It is what it is. We want them to get the help they need. Church president Penny Peppis says she has compassion for the campers, but says safety issues at the church have caused her to seek help. Our parishioners who come from all over are very worried about their safety. They're afraid to come. Penny says the first tent popped up about a month ago. One turned into five and Penny turned to the city. There's never been a response. I've done reports through the app two or three times a week for the last three weeks. She says church staff found a homeless person inside the gates. And she says someone from the camp is sending their Amazon packages to the church. One of the homeless um, folks came and knocked on the door and said, did you get my package? So they're using our address. They're saying our parishioners don't feel safe coming to church. A man from the camp who identified himself as Oberon disputes that his camp is responsible for issues at the church. What's the plan here? I don't know, talk to the city. I've done all the paperwork. You know, I'm waiting on housing. He tells me he doesn't allow drugs in his camp. Not all homeless people are criminals. Not all homeless people have a record. Not all homeless people break into things. This camp at 13th and Howell is just a block from a camp that Project Seattle reported on last month. Their businesses told us they were concerned the camps would keep growing. Penny says she wants the city's homeless authorities to find a solution for her church and the campers. We want them to get help and we want them to get better and we want them to get off the streets. Um, we don't have the infrastructure as a small church to do that ourselves. So we need help. We need help. And you're not getting it? No. No, absolutely no response. Court documents released today give a little more information on the moments right before an international search was started for a five-year-old boy. In court at the Skagit County Community Justice Center today, we saw Amber Dinges and her daughter, Amanda Dinges, who authorities say was caring for a five-year-old boy as a foster parent. In the middle of November, court documents reveal that overnight visits with the boy's biological mother were recommended and a possible expansion of visits was to be discussed. But when CPS later learned that the boy had not been seen at school, Amanda's apartment was searched by the management and they found out they were gone. So Ms. Dinges, you're charged here with one count of kidnapping in the second degree. That charge is a class B felony. It carries a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine. Ultimately, authorities say they tracked Amanda and Amber to Vietnam in what was an investigation that spanned from Mount Vernon and Skagit County authorities to include the FBI, Homeland Security, and officials in Vietnam. The child was also found there and brought back to Washington. And Amber and Amanda were arrested at SeaTac upon returning. I've signed the no-contact order protecting the minor child in this case, whose initials are NAD. Um, Ms. Dinges, you can't have any direct or indirect contact with him. Both have been told not to contact the boy or his biological mother. They've also been told to stay in the county. Reporting in Skagit County, Paul Rivera, Como News. Hi, everyone. I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.